Hi guys, it's me and um, your hostess with the mostess, your wee one. Hey, I'm going to do a tag for Stevie. And pardon me if I seem to kind of like space out, but um, I'm not feeling so hot today. My stomach is killing me and I'm just like, and I have to actually leave the house in probably about a half hour to 45 minutes from now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here we go. Stevie's tag. Here we are. Um, I mean, let's go to the first one. Uh, but he has posted here. And it is, have you ever had overly friendly underwear in public? And how did you dislodge it while in public? Well, I don't really have that problem because um, once I'm in my chair, I'm in my chair and I'm there to stay. So that really doesn't happen. It does once in a blue, blue moon. And I will find the bathroom. I'll suffer through it till I have a bathroom. Um, so that's the answer to that question. Okay, now the next three questions are super cool. Because these are like my favorite topics actually. Like pretty much in the world. Um, okay, it's about spirits and heaven and hell and all that stuff. Okay. And, uh, so this will be kind of interesting because, um, this is coming from a Christian perspective. And, uh, just so you know. And, uh, I'm, here we go. <laughs> All right. Um, what do souls do for each, all eternity? Uh, what is their function, seeing as they no longer have to sleep, eat, etc.? How do souls occupy their time? Well, I believe in the, um, the line uh, in the Lord's Prayer, as on earth as it is in heaven, um, I think it's pretty much exactly like heaven, uh, with the exception of it being almost, it would be a new utopia, a paradise. It, 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 um, but, you know, we have, we have, why do I keep saying this? I've done this twice, and I, I say we have, and and speaking about heaven, I don't know why I do that, but I, I, I always do that. I don't get it. But, okay. Heaven has, I'm not there yet, so I can't say we, but um, heaven has um, landscapes like we have. Um, you know, I, I, from my experience, I know that there is, like, meadows and mountains and things. There's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, um, and I think that, um, so we would probably have, like, jobs or, uh, things that, I wouldn't say it's like a job here that's, like, monotonous and annoying. I think you have the freedom to approach that job with your, and use your own experiences, whether it be from Earth or, um, anything life, death, being born, whatever, um, I think we haven't, you know, you have to pretty much be able to do something to, I believe that we help people who are still not, not there yet, haven't gotten there yet, so we help those people, and, um, and I believe that completely, like, there are angels, there are messengers, and, I mean, it's all through the Bible, and there are, um, Wow, it, it's just, I don't know. I mean, come on, you guys. It, I don't know if you're exactly assigned or if you, like, you know, pick something. I don't know. But no matter what is put in front of you, no matter what is given to you, it is given to you out of love and it is given to you because this is your creator. He knows you the most out of anything, anyone in existence. So, um,. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. No matter how you look at it, it's good. Okay. Um, question number two, and I'm going out of order, but that's okay. He wrote it. I'm doing it. Okay. If heaven exists, which it does, um, with structures, houses, buildings, land, etc., why can we not locate this on the map? Why can we not see it go there? in human form and uh, detect its location existence. 
the reason why we can't handle well okay let me put you this way it's in a different dimension okay we would be sick and fools and, and everything by now not to understand that there are dimensions to life and there are different stages of life and heaven just has to be the top of the ladder and um it's it's paradise and there there are buildings there and um there is land and it's it's beautiful there's mountains there's there's meadows which and, and woods and uh, forests that kind of thing um which that's the part that i got to see was the because god knows my heart he knows that i feel most comfortable outside and um that's where i landed which I've always wondered about that. Are these like portholes or something that people just, you know, and they're there or what? And it's going to be cool to find out how this stuff works. How it's made. You know, like the television show. Um, <laughs> why we can't find it. Like I say, it's in a different dimension. Um, and I don't think that our technology will ever be able to find that um, until it's ready. If you know what I'm saying, um, it's not going to reveal itself until it's ready, and something like that. I don't think it's going to be like, oh, hey, you guys, guess what? I was sitting there doing a little dallin, and oh, I found this thing, and I think it might be heaven. I mean, really? Then what would be the point of us being here? What would be the point of our struggles and our 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 life here if we didn't strive for? something better. I mean, uh, it, it only makes sense. And um, I don't think our technology will ever catch it. I just don't think it will. And like I say, it will reveal itself when it's ready. And when the two dimensions converge together. I think I'm probably getting too techy here. So I'm just not going to go any further with that. Um, but it's really weird. And you know what? If you really want to know about this stuff, Stevie, I highly recommend that you pick up a, a book, and it's called The Big, Be Big Book of Near-Death Experiences, and it's big. It's like 533 pages, but it's a very easy read, and it's really good, um, and it gives you the scientific stuff about um, near-death experiences and, and those who have gone through it, and... Um, they, a lot of people describe it as um, a dimension. Like, for me, it was just kind of like flowing, like going through a waterfall. That's, yeah, it would be like going through a waterfall. That's what it kind of even felt like. It was like I was there, it was cold, um, I was in pain, and then it just kind of blended in with this warmth and almost like a cleansing feeling. Um, it was like just passing over, passing through. There, there was none of this tunnel stuff. And not everybody has that tunnel thing, mind you. Um, they don't go, you know, it, it, a lot of them have, like I did, were just blended into the woodwork. And um, I think that would be, that would be, I to me, it would be the less frightening way to go, where if everything just kind of, you know, um, but, um, no, I don't think we'll find it. I mean, we have to release ourselves because the human body, it even says in the Bible that um, the human body could not withstand what goes on there. Uh, probably probably what they mean is, like, the conditions, like, um, maybe the atmosphere. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, God did make us, and so it probably is kind of like here, except just perfect. And, um... But I don't, I don't know, it just, uh, I don't think I'll find it. I know I keep saying that, but it's one of those, those questions that um, is really, really intriguing because, you know, I watch a lot of science shows, and they do talk about dimensions and, uh, you know, parallel universes and, and all that stuff, and I, I like to read up on it, and um, I'm a nerd, you guys know that. Question number three, four. And this is the last one. Is there a hell? Yes. And if so, why 
would a loving God create such a option for its creation? Um, that word option, it kind of sticks out to me because it is really not his option, it is our option. Um, if someone Okay, first of all, I do believe in the war in heaven, okay? I do believe that there was probably a rebellious group because, you know, that kind of yelled mutiny and uh, basically it was just disgusting and it was awful. It was it was a war. I mean, war is ugly. And uh, that is how hell was created. Um, and I think the whole thing between why we go there is because that there is that evil influence that's existing unfortunately because of that um, that it is our choice now it is our option it is no longer anyone else's option it's our option because if you turn your back on your your something that loves you more than you can even imagine um, you just totally deny everything um, and some people are very hateful and and um, spiteful at the whole idea of it then you know evil is one that soul and I I really don't see it as is you send yourself there pretty much okay that's exactly what I'm gonna say thank you you pretty much set yourself there and uh, it, it's not I wouldn't want to be around somebody who hated me I wouldn't want to be around somebody with a hateful spirit um, and I would want my people to be protected from that kind of negativity and so I, it makes complete logical sense why there would be why that happened and um, you know our, our being and anything is free will of thought and I think that exists even in heaven that free will of thought and even carries on to not just human beings but other life forms um, meaning higher functioning life forms like other people on planets kind of life forms I think that is also holds true as far as their free will of thought and um, so that's how that happened you know, rebellion. I think it's just a whole part of nature and existence, unfortunately. But I don't really want to do that, and I know that sometimes I I do. But as far as I think it's just kind of menial things, and rebellious in the fact that you know I want to go out and get a little buzz, or you know I I want to go and go you know do something or. I don't know. I know that, like, when I was smoking, I know that it's, it's, I guess it would be a form of rebellion because you're destroying the, the body. But, um, it happens. It happens, and you don't realize what you got yourself into until it's too late. And it doesn't, that never affected my love for, for God and, and everything. It's never affected it. Um, I think if you're on something that is, like, extremely mood alterating um and i mean like i'm talking like alcohol uh, hard drugs things like that that can affect your your thoughts and um what i use is a for my medication is is not an aggressive thing and i do not like aggressive drugs because they do turn you away from light and what is good and uh that's why i've sworn them off Okay, uh, so it is not really God's option, it is your option. And um, I choose God. And I really would like to just let my heart just pour out to you guys and everything. And I don't know what's holding me back, but probably because it would probably be a three hour long rant or ramble, not a rant. But this went on for 14 minutes anyway. And I love you guys so much. And you guys, please take care. Be nice to each other. Peace be with you forever, always. And um, if you have any questions about any of this, ask me. 
you know, and I might be able to help, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, um, but, you know, as always, I always ask my viewers to please be kind and considerate and no bashing because I would never bash you and what you think. So, okay. All right. Peace out. Love you. Bye-bye.